Hey guys, this is Robert with Malaya Law. We help entrepreneurs just like you start their businesses without dealing with complicated legal forms. We are also the number one highest rated business law firm for entrepreneurs with more than 1,500 five-star Google reviews. Today, I am going to discuss the three things that you should do before forming an LLC. As many of you guys know, an LLC is a limited liability company. And the main purpose is to provide you with personal liability protection. An LLC is a way of creating an entity that separates you from your business so that you can have peace of mind. An LLC is recommended by most accountants and lawyers if your business is generating a decent amount of income, and especially if your business subjects you to potential liabilities. The last thing you want is for someone to sue your business and be able to go after your personal assets because you didn't spend the time to register for an LLC. So the first thing you should do before forming an LLC is to research the tax implications of registering an LLC. It is important to speak with a tax professional before you decide to register an LLC so he or she can determine if this is an economical uh, decision from a tax perspective. The accountant will also be able to help you determine if you should do an LLC or corporation and how to have the LLC taxed. Many people form LLCs because they think that they will help them save more money on taxes, but this is not always the case. For example, if you live in California and register an LLC in California, then you are going to be required to pay a minimum $800 per year franchise tax board fee. Overall, an LLC is not a tax saving strategy and LLCs and sole proprietors are taxed at the same rate, meaning that you will pay the same amount of taxes with or without an LLC. Keep in mind, this is not accounting advice and I am not an accountant, but oftentimes an LLC does not guarantee, you know, is not guaranteed to save you money on taxes. However, in many situations, an LLC can save you money on taxes, such as if you elect to have the LLC taxed as an S corporation. If you elect to have the LLC taxed as an S-corporation, then you can save about 15% on self-employment taxes. But keep in mind, this is only something that should be done if you are making a certain amount of money. So moving on, the next thing I recommend that you do before you register an LLC is to speak with a legal professional to determine which business entity is best for your particular situation. There are many factors that must be taken into account before you decide to register your business. Sometimes an LLC will unnecessarily complicate things and we will recommend that you just start out small and be a sole proprietor with an EIN and DBA. Other times we will recommend a corporation over an LLC, especially if you plan to go public, raise money from outside investors, or plan on becoming very large in the near future. Whereas with an LLC, we would recommend this if you don't plan on going public, but just want the liability protections so that you can rest easy or that you have a layer of protection and division between you and your business. If an LLC or corporation is recommended, then a legal professional will also help you determine which state to file the business entity. Oftentimes, people hear that forming in Delaware or Nevada is the best thing to do. However, a legal professional will not usually recommend that you do this because you will still have to register uh, your own, in your own state as a foreign entity. Oftentimes, it is recommended that you just register in the state that you are in and not register in one of the popular states like Delaware because it will result in you having to pay fees in two states and having to deal with more paperwork and maintenance. The last thing I recommend that you do before you register a business is to put together a business plan of some sort that sets forth the capital you plan to invest, your marketing strategies, and company structure. When you register an LLC, it is important to have your ducks in a row and know who is going to be the owners of the business and who plans up to manage the business. You should speak with your partners and put down the organizational structure on paper so that when you do speak to the professionals, you can utilize your time more efficiently. The number of partners and capital you plan to invest will significantly impact the lawyer and accountant's recommendations. For example, if it is just you, then you will likely to be taxed as a sole proprietor. However, if there are multiple partners, then you will be taxed as a partnership or an S corporation. Overall, these are three very important things to do 
and consider before you register your business in the US. And our law firm has helped thousands of entrepreneurs register their businesses in the US and would be happy to help answer your questions. So feel free to click on the link below to schedule a free consultation. During the phone call, we will be able to determine how you should get started with your business and we will hold your hand throughout the process. So go ahead and click the link below. And also if you have any questions, just post them in the comments below and my team and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. I'll see you guys in the next video.